All right, now to a developing story in Portsmouth. A man is staying with family after his home goes up in flames. Now, Megan Shin explains the fire started while the man was doing something maybe even you did after the blizzard. Portsmouth Fire Department says no one can live in this house anymore. Take a look a little bit closer with me. The crime tape is still up. These windows are busted out. It's completely burnt from bottom to top, and it's all because of several frozen pipes. In these freezing temperatures, fires are sparking up. So the first thing I did was grab my son and call 911. Now this house on the near Crescent in Portsmouth is destroyed. The roof split in half and furniture burnt to ashes. I told her, I said, you gotta grab the dog, we gotta get out of here. Portsmouth fire says the flame started because of a propane heater used underneath the house to thaw water pipes. The flames started coming up through the side of the house and breaking through the windows. The Hughes family says they saw Joey trying to run back inside the home looking for his girlfriend. He was uh, black from head to toe, you know, uh, soot. Cops said, no, you got to get away from the house. We met Joey when he returned from the hospital. Came back out. Here's Joey right here. So are you doing OK? Oh, yeah. He did not want to go on TV, but told us off camera he was renting the home from his brother. The fire department says they spent more than an hour to get this fire under control. Hoses were out, stuff was spraying. Now the flames are out, and all that's left in the Arctic cold temperatures is the smoldering memory of what used to be. In Portsmouth, Megan Shin, 13 News Now. And another fire last night in Chesapeake may have been caused by something similar that you saw there. It happened on Chesapeake Avenue near Poindexter Street last night. We're told the homeowner used a heat gun to thaw frozen pipes underneath his house. Fire Captain Scott Saunders thinks that's what started the flames. The fire crept into the walls of the house, but thankfully no one was hurt. So if your pipes do freeze, we want to tell you how you can do, uh, you can thaw them out safely. The Red Cross says to keep the faucet open. This is going to let water run through the frozen area as it starts to melt. You should also apply heat to the frozen section by using an electric heating pad, a blow dryer, or a portable space heater. Do not use a blowtorch, propane heater, or any open flame device.